That's all I really wanted to hear was Paige Kennedy. There's a lot of freestyling, right? I feel like I was at my concert. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out to the MCs, though. It's it's part of the, yeah, but wow. That's not why we're here today, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We got a multi-talented, Shakespearean-trained actor. Yeah. MC, <laughs> producer, <laughs> visionary. <laughs> you may have seen him in the Warner Brothers sequel, Meg to the Trench. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, you might have saw him on the Kennedys. Oh. Six Feet Under, that was a success. Yeah. yeah. We shout out to Romney Malco. Ooh, and Mary Louise Parker. Yeah, that That's was a right. success. That, man, that was a that was the first of its kind. Mm-hmm. Come on, the Upshaws. Oh, uh-huh. shout out to Kim Fields oh, and yes. our citizens this way in the morning. Mike Epps, Wanda, yes, Sykes. Yes. Wanda Sykes. Congratulations on that success. That's thank amazing. You, thank this you. man has acted right next to Idris over the uh, snowfall, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Oh, damn That's right. Yeah. Idris Damson and, uh-huh. and John Singleton. Damson. And uh, next to Samuel L. Jackson, oh, easily yeah. the most celebrated actor of all time. That's uh-huh. right, SWAT, baby. Okay, and he's here today, ladies and gentlemen. He got a story to tell. He goes by the name of the one and only Paige Kennedy. Hey, what PK. up, though? Hey, what up, though? What up, man, though? Man. I am here, and I am elated to be in the presence of greatness. Wow. Wow, man. That's yes, so nice man. Hey, thank man, you. listen, I'm listening to your story, following your career, uh, I, I want to diddle that sentiment. We are in the presence of greatness. Oh, Paige Kennedy, man, you. what makes you great is your energy. Yeah. You know, and that energy resonates through your music and it resonates on the screen. And when I got a chance to meet you again, we met actually years ago. He came to the YouTube show mm-hmm. oh. when we did South by Southwest. Southwest. The one we had, who was there? Cardi B. Cardi B was there. Yeah. Nick uh, Grant, right? Wow. Annoy, wow. Annoy, I had everybody, everybody. There. Lil Yachty wow. was there. Oh yeah. yeah, remember that? And uh, wow. and we had a really good time that time. And he was there. Since then, his career has blossomed, has catapulted. Paige Kennedy is here. Put the yeah. work in. Put the work in, right? Uh, you know, that's all you can do, man. You know, I'm from Detroit, so we hustlers. We 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 get it out of the mud. You know what I mean? And and I just wanted to be able to show for example that it's possible to to grow up in a beleaguered environment and be able to mm. rise uh-huh. you know from the flames and, and be able to to soar like the phoenix the flames are interesting because the flames are really metaphoric for any diversion any naysayer yeah all right any pitfall that been put in your place mm-hmm. when i'm listening to um, the song we played called Page Did, you talked about people saying that you couldn't do it, you couldn't make it. Were those people from your own home environment? Yeah, you know, I mean, look, growing, growing up as a kid, they, <laughs> you know, kids, I mean, look, we, we protect the kids, right? But, but kids sometimes can be the, the they're most mean. Cruel they can be mean. And bad. Ever, yeah, yeah. And bad as hell. Uh-huh. And so, you know, obviously, there's, there's always jokes, there's always that. And, and you get naysayers from everywhere, especially because I'm, you know, a renaissance man. I don't just do one thing. I try and do a, a collection of different things. And so if they know me from Vine, they're mm-hmm. like, oh, well, he's 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 trying to rap now. After that. When they don't know that I've been rapping like my whole life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been rapping longer than I've been doing anything else. Mm. And so. Sometimes we just stay stuck in what we want to see somebody in. We see Jim Carrey in the mask. We don't want to see the Truman Show until he gives us the Truman Show and we see how talented and skillful he is. And mm-hmm. so that's what I got to do. How do you work through that, though, mm. especially when it's your friends, it's your family members? Fuel. Right? I use it as fuel. I use it as fuel to to ignite my fire. Okay. You're a renaissance man. You're Shakespearean trained. You're from what part of Michigan? <laughs> Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. D. What up, dog? Why Shakespeare? Because you know, me being a rapper, like I've always considered myself a wordsmith. Mm-hmm. You know, and so I've had an affinity for words like forever. And so when I got to college and I started trying to be an actor. They threw me right into Shakespeare with a Midsummer Night's Dream, which okay. was like your first play that, was that my you first Shakespearean read. play I read. Yeah, and I read the first paragraph, and I was like, "Oh no, nah, this ain't for me." I was like, "I don't, I don't talk like this. I don't, I don't understand this." And my teacher, Fred Sabowski, he was like, "Look, you should really revere Shakespeare. He was the first rapper, you know." And then once I started to like look at it from that sense, once I started to understand the words mm-hmm. and be indoctrinated into the world and see the stories that are still relevant and be able to say these beautiful multi-syllabic words, mm-hmm. like I fell in love with it, and so it's still been my favorite thing now. So Shakespeare is important 
because because it is indelible because stories never get old it's kind of like like you get a, a dope mc who story tells those stories live on forever like a wave that's a current that comes and go but like like stories are here forever uh -huh. you know and, and and shakespeare's stories are still relevant and so they're, they're important to me and and to the point where you know i i want to bring shakespeare to younger people to the current audience to the hip-hop culture I, I want them to be able to embrace this thing that i love so much because i think that they could too can you do some shakespeare for us right now <laughs> is that possible yeah yeah, I know yeah most yeah. people come up here freestyle i know what you was expecting but you, <laughs> this you would be different. interesting you in the valley of the theater the valley yeah. of the theater because, <laughs> no I, i'm saying i'm i'm curious too because i think it's interesting that a professor would tell you that shakespeare is the first like rapper rapper mm -hmm. i don't believe I, i've never even thought, thought about, about that, that yeah. you know and that's 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 just so that's a huge disconnect to me mm, it yeah. really is it, it's a huge disconnect he writes in verse though sometimes but that's what i mean but once you started to say once you said it i started to think like is there a reason why so many of the great actors study you know we watch denzel do yeah. shakespeare right. we watch um leonardo Le leonardo we mm. watched divine joy who mm. just beautifully gave mm. a speech and spoke about not being able to find herself in in what she saw and her perfect she studied you know these people are classically trained yeah and you know that they study that so it's interesting i have to go back now and look at it differently and read shakespeare very differently now because i never even looked at it that way mm. you know what i mean yeah. it's just to me i would have been immediately turned off i hated reading it in college right. i was like this sucks like this right. is stupid right i don't i don't talk like that exactly. i don't know so now i'll look at it in a different way yeah and, I, and i'm going to try and bring it to us in a different way you know i'm currently working on something now called shakespeare for you and it's basically you know how the leonardo dicaprio adaptation was when they brought it to it where it felt like we could understand it romeo and juliet romeo well and juliet. is it like what manuel did Lin, um Lin, Lin, Lin with Lin hamilton Manuel. Lin yeah. Manuel, is it? No, well no these i'm still using the actual text okay. so basically so so i'm i'm the the first season is macbeth and Con Compton. And and it's basically if you take Macbeth and Menace to Society and conjugated them together. So so you know like you know that time period, you know that feel, you know what that looks like, you know what 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 Los Angeles Compton looked like in the nineties. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that's the my favorite zeitgeist is mm -hmm. is that time and right. that area. Right. You know, and so I wanna bring that, I wanna bring hip hop to that. And so I'm still using the words, but they're going to be done looking like something that you and and here I'll 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 demonstrate yes. you're going to demonstrate all right yeah okay so so th th this is a monologue that Meth Macbeth is like talking to himself after he just got crowned the king and 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 he's worried about you know staying king mm -hmm. so so he says this to himself to be thus is nothing but to be safely thus our fears and bank will stick deep, but in his royalty of nature reigns that which would be feared. To as much he dares, and to that dauntless temper of his mind, yet the wisdom that doth guide his valor to act in safety. He chided the sisters when they first put the name of king upon me and bade them speak to him. Then prophet-like, they hailed him father to a line of kings. Upon my head, they placed a fruitless crown, put the barren scepter into my grip, thence to be wrenched with an unlineal hand, no son of mine succeeding. If it be so, for Banquo's issues have I filed my mind, put wrinkles in the vessels of their peace given to them, and the common enemy given to man to make them kings. The seeds of Banquo kings rather than so. Come fate into the list and champion me to the utterance. So. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Ow. Bravo. Wow. Bravo. 
Wow. I like that. That was powerful. Give me some dap on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow, and so, wow. and what we'll have is like, we'll have like the, the captions, the subtitles. Instead of it being in those exact words, it'll be in the words that you understand that right. makes sense. So, so you're able to read exactly what I'm saying. So, like, if you were not understanding exactly what I'm saying, but you can kind of feel the intention of it, you're going to be able to read exactly what it is that I'm saying in your terms. Okay. By your interpretation, you're you're gonna interpret it for every, right, right. Okay, wow, that's amazing. Shakespeare for you, Paige Kennedy. When is that coming? Impressive. Well, I, I, we 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 working on it right now. We're when trying you, to put it on a big scale. So okay, we'll Terry see. Cruz is a part of that. We yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Citizen of Sway in the morning. That's yes. our yes, brother yes. right there. His lovely wife. We yes, done traveled sir. the world together. Mm-hmm. I see Terry all over the world, bro. Oh, man, lovely man. Yeah. That's an amazing individual. You you you. To be the person you are, what I like about you, and one of the things you said, you feel like we were like-minded and like-spirited, which we are in many ways. Um, you know, we come through entertainment. We we all kind of renaissance people. Mm-hmm. You know, um, he played, Alex Mejia played some music that I made as a younger man, mm-hmm. not understanding that one day that would lead me to the radio, that would lead me to the TV, that would lead me to producing movies and being a part of movies and expressing myself in different ways inspiring folks right Mm -hmm. um i had um i had team with me along the way my partner king tech alex mejia a lot of the people that we ran with at that time of course my brother and my family who did you have when i listened to your music it seemed like you had a dream and then you had to carve your own path i know your father passed yeah when you were 16. Mm -hmm. who did you have that was backing you up when you decided to uproot yourself and come to L.A. and take this chance? Was it, who did you have? Well, I, I, will, I will say this. It's, it's, it's two people that I, I want to name. First, the impetus of me wanting to be a creative, period, is Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the be-all and end-all wow. for me okay. from the time that I was six years old all the way through now. Like, I walked through life, like, feeling what he felt and wanting to be great because of his greatness and how he felt about greatness, Mm -hmm. which poured into Kobe Bryant, which is my other hero. Uh You know what I'm saying? And so Michael Jackson is what started all of this for me, you know, and then, and then I I have a personal relationship with God and I, and I kept God with me in my life. You know, when I didn't have a parent, that was my parent. When I have, Come you know, on. a shoulder to lean on, that was so, so, so God has been the person that has like, you know, carried me through all of this. That's who I, I could turn it. on. Cause I've been on my own. You, you work with Samuel L. Jackson, who's, who's a lot of our, you know, two people is, is a God of a thespian, right? Did yeah. you, do you, when you work with these folks like Samuel, the, do you get to sit and have conversation or is it just what's on the script? No, well, it it depends. You know, like I I feel I have a affable personality and so because of that, you know, it, it's like welcoming to to some people. Like I'm yeah. not like standoffish or bring energy of of anything like that. And so I go out of my way to try and make connections with people because I love people. I love human beings. That's that's my thing. And so so if they are you know, susceptible to, to, you know, uh, me and, and me being so, uh, jovial, then yeah, I go and try and connect with them. And, and I've been able to connect with a lot of the, the, the great actors mm-hmm. that I've like been who? able to work with. Like, like Mary Louise Parker, you know, uh-huh. like contrary to popular belief, like, you know, she could be standoffish to a lot of people. And my, I think my talent opened her up to me. Because when she had to have scenes with just her and I, she really got to see what it was that I was bringing. And that is what opened her up. Because before, like the first season, I don't even think <laughs> I got to speak to her. Just but the weeds, se- wow. right? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But the second season, when it's her and I, it changed everything. She, she invited me to her, her, her kid's birthday party. And she, you know, it, so, so. I've been able to, you know, connect with with people. Kim Fields, you know, like oh, I, I love girl, her. Yes. That's like that, that is an angel. Amen. Like Kim really Fields is. is an angel on earth. She's the hardest working woman that you could imagine, mm-hmm. and she has the patience of a god. Like so beautiful. Yeah, she Kim, is. Kim, a hit randomly just to check in on you. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, I thought about you today. Everything's good. Yep. Mm. That's Kim Fields. We're talking yeah. Tootie, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Tootie, man. She was little Kim on the Good Times episode. That's right. She might have about five decades in this game, yo. Close on, to a cheat. Yeah. Fields. I'm glad Disney let her in, too, the other day. She went to Disney. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Disney let her in. Uh, this is amazing, man. Um, uh, all the different things you got yeah. going on. Tech 9. Tech Nine of all people who doesn't ask for anything texted me two days ago your information, a freestyle, and said, Hey, you should get him on the show. Ooh. Shout out to Tech Nine. Tech Nine. Shout out to Tech Nine, brother. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> what does that mean though for to you? Like to have a Tech Nine. Who are some of those other rappers that embraced you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I I listen, I'm I'm on an incredible run. Now you you know I did a a, a freestyle here uh, at, at Siri. Shout out to John. Um, John was that who kid? Uh, yeah, you know I just took took care of him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn, and that so, sounds very <laughs> janky right there. <laughs> you know, hey, no, no, no. Hey man, Paul. Found them on the street. No diddy. <laughs> Stay tuned for who kid. That's coming up. It's coming. Up. That's hey. a new thing. That's yeah. a new thing. Oh, no diddy. No, is no, 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 no. We didn't. We not. Re he just. Oh, you just needed to know. It doesn't okay. have to yeah, make the video. Yeah, so oh, okay. you want to see know. it. So like, yeah. you know, right. in case somebody tell you after your pause free zone the other day, now you know that. Now you know that might be happening. That's the new thing that's going on. With the kids, as, as, it's as happening. The, as the recipient of Houseway, I'm just not going to participate. <laughs> I'm not going to participate. Which I still use I'm on a regular basis. Go for Everybody. it, man. The kids don't even know it's me no more, so it works out. The kids be saying Houseway to me. I know, right? And I'm like, me. It's I'm, me. I'm, I'm, Who? I'm Sway. What are you, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? like, no way. He's talking about you, really? Yeah, yeah, they get I thought perplexed. that was a coincidence. No, nah, they don't even get that far. Sway? <laughs> You're Sway? Houseway. How? Yeah, that, How? Like, yeah, I know, right? It, it, anyway. Man. Yeah, but no, so. so so um, Tech Nine graciously, like the so I have ten <laughs> projects. I have five full albums and I have five mixtapes. I do a mixtape a mixtape series called Straight Bars, mm -hmm. and at the end of each Straight Bars uh, mixtape series, I have a posse track where I've had the most incredible rappers that you can think of all on I've had Crooked Eye, oh. Royce the Five Nine. Wow. wow. I've had Cassidy. I've had uh Logic. I've had um King Los. Wow. Citizen. Yeah. I've had Ciroc. I've had Mickey Fats, El Zai. Like just Damn. everybody Papoos, that you can think all of. The all, all, wow. and, and so so Tech Nine was supposed to be on the most recent one, but we couldn't get it in time and mm. and and he you know, he really wanted to be on there because 'cause I'm like connected with him and he's just a, he's just a gracious brother and he believes in me. And he saw what I was doing and that I'm getting all this love. Scarface hitting me up free wow, for 106 man. apart, like all, all off of this freestyle. And so we we just trying to let me be heard because I got something to say that people should be able to hear. We're going to hear it in a second. Right now, I want to say Childish Gambino. I'm trying to think who has been deemed the best actor slash rapper. Hmm. Well, Method Man can't be in. Method and Red Common. Man. Common. Common. Can they be included? Yeah. yeah. Joey okay. Badass. J Joey okay. Badass. Joey Badass. Meth Common. Method Man. Of Method course, Meth. Black okay. Thought. He's on my own. Red Man. Red, Red Man. Well, come on, Reggie. Come on. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Cube. LL. 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 Latifah. Latifah. Eve. 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 Will Smith. Smith. Paige Kennedy. Hey. Where do you rank? Listen. If you want to have a conversation, if we having an open and honest conversation. I, I said Method Man. Keep that in mind. Okay. And, and I said Black, Black Thought. Thought. Yes, you did. And I said Wait, Red Black Man. Thought is a actor? actor? Yes. Yeah, he was in The Godfather of Harlem. He's been in. He's, he's been, been in popping up. That, yeah. The, the early work he did, too, yeah. was a, a Philly film. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He pops up. He yeah. got the IMDb. Where you rank? Listen. Where you rank? I, <laughs> as far as diversity of skill set of everything, yes. I feel like prevailing right now, I'm the best that's doing it. When it comes to drama, comedy, Shakespeare, as far as the raps, I do socially conscious music. I do battle rap, straight bars, bops, vibes, like everything you can't see me coming. When it comes to the mm. collection of all of the skill sets put together to be commensurate with each other, I feel like nobody's better than me right now. Doing Black it thought. right now. 
doing it right now. Black thought. Is he a, is he a better? You got to put the acting in it too. Okay, okay, okay. So you gotta you going. gotta combine. Oh, you making a triathlon. You gotta, yeah, you gotta you gotta okay, combine I'll, it. I'll what you, doing. you gotta combine okay. it. Like, okay. like whoever's on the same it. level. You just did Shakespeare. Ain't nobody doing Shakespeare. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm telling you. I'm the most diverse rapper slash actor in the world right now. In the world. Wow. Do you dispute that? We going to see. <laughs> we going to see. <laughs> we going to wow. see. I got the legendary, iconic Alex Mejia over there. <clears throat> I know he got something nice. Yeah. We going to see. Yeah, the yeah, world yeah. going to see. Yeah. Paige Kennedy, congratulations on such an amazing journey. Yes. And it's still going and you still flowing mm -hmm. from the big screen to the small screen to the mic booth to the Valley of the Hyena. Here we go. Alex, drop that beat on him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is for my city. This is for my city. I want to represent for where I came from. You know, we let me go. turn this up in my ear. Sway in the morning, Paige Kennedy. Detroit, Detroit City. Go. Yeah. Detroit versus everybody. <clears throat> Look, welcome to Detroit City, the mitten. If you was born here, that means in your previous life you was a thorn here. Had to be a nigga that caused havoc and chaos. Must have killed Pam and her son and let Bait watch. You must have been the Donald Trump of the sea lions. Let them the shark waters to get eat by them. You must have been the extinction of dinosaurs. A place where they only beat you as a connoisseur. Either that or treason is the only reason that I can even think of God leaving us in hell. Cause we live in hell. But since we living, we giving the living hell to everyone around us. Surrounded by founders that lack peaceful encounters. So when you see a nigga at a light, you gotta stare at him. While you making the right, you gotta glare at him. And if he a real nigga, he might pull out that Tommy Hill figure. It's like we hypnotize, kill niggas. We call it pride, but sometimes it's just for the thrill. Niggas, I take your life for six bucks. Pull up in big trucks, doop, 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 this shit sucks. Ride down Joy Road if you wanna. Better hide that rollie if you want it. Stick up kids with stick up kids with no hesitation. Put the stick up the kids. I went to high school at Cody. Fuck bitches at Mumford. Mackenzie and Harry Ford is where I used to dump work. I was getting off packages, had the greens and the papers. Had all the haters mad catching the vapors. My pops was a drug dealer, that's where I got it from. Pops had heaters in the crib, that's where I got it from. Went to school every day packing the deuce deuce. Tired of running from dudes at school, so I got the juice and high tech boots. I was Throwing drugs, had to heat me and my nigga Frank warning thugs. But they jumped them, some niggas from Pete Rock. Kicked them out of school, broke up Rock Steady and Beat Rock. Now I'm on my own, trying to live right. But if you grew up in a D, then a nigga gon' have to fight. And that's just what it is. You can mind your own biz, but you still gotta cross the line to see the whiz. The east side is no dry zone. You got a bitch there, better have that young dog with the get there. The summertime is a funner time. Everybody on their porches, so hot it scorches. The main wall is a death trap. The same place that you hang out, same place you get left at. What you know about police extortion? Girls getting tattooed tears for abortions. What you know about being accused of the same race? Cause shit can get ugly as Chris Rock's rain face. Or checking the check that's already spit. We a waterboard a nigga with the water from Flint. Main goal is to stay alive. What you know about being a grandparent that's 35? What you know about really being in danger? Moms and sisters fighting like strangers. Nine years old and kids with the bangers. Seeing your daughter on a pose like hangers. What you know about cook, crack, and heroin? Stashing coke and tires of a caravan. What you know about home invasion? I'm getting drug out your crib with the chrome invading. Uh, your dreams turn to nightmares. Quick as a flash. Got gold on the mind, but they looking for crash. What you know about being a parent at 16? The bills do, you smell meal, do the shit's mean. How you supposed to survive if you can't get a job? I guess you gotta rob unless God threw a lob. That's what he did me. He had a lifeline he wanted to give me. I got the fuck out of there so I can make a better me. Wanted to sway the right way, work the hell to be. I went around all the places and I saw all the nooses. Turned racism into love, no excuses. I had to get the fuck out so I can give back. Cause home is where the heart is, not where you live at. I wanted to show the kids in the D that they ain't gotta feel hopeless. They can look up to me and they can see a real nigga ain't gotta 
to shoot you. A real nigga is planning to have a future. A real nigga is taking care of his family the legal way so you can abort the plan B. Make that A work. Find something you love and make play work. Get something you love that you can get paid for. And you enjoy that shit way more. I love my city for the drink and the heart that it gave me. The fortitude to live the shit that made me. And no matter if no one accepts you, Detroit, Michigan, I'ma always respect you. Page Kennedy! Page Kennedy! We gotta have it! Make sure we salute one of the go to the game. We got to mention LL on that list of yeah, actors yeah, 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 yeah. and, 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 and people who spit LL those lyrics. Cool J. One of the goats as well. LL cool J, yo, salute to so. you. Let me say this um, talent and all of these different things, it matters, right? Yeah. But God has blessed you with an amazing energy. And I don't care what this game or these negative forces try to throw at you, keep that energy. Keep that that spirit, that light that's within you. It is so beautiful and so powerful to see and inspirational. Thank Keep you so much. Keep that light. Whew. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yo, you, sure. you wrote the hell out of that. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Shit, because I, was it's one, the, I was there yeah. with you, bro. It's one I was thing to, to write it, though, but you have to deliver it. Yeah. You deliver We were in a movie. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> what you know about cooking up? Come Man. on, your mom and s sister fighting like they are strangers. Thirty-six-year-old grandparents, the hood. Hey. Your daughter hanging off poles like hangers. Uh. He said a lot. We Teardrops to for abortions. abortions. We trying to abort the plan B. I heard Come you. on now. I Come heard. on. She heard <laughs> it. She heard it. We can abort the plan B. I heard him. Get she heard it. Get a round of applause. You got to deliver, man. Paige Kennedy. I want y'all to follow you, him man. at Paige Kennedy. The way it sounds is the way it's spelled. Yes. P-A-G-E-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y. Hyena. We got a hyena up in here. Official. <laughs> Wow. You made it happen, brother. That was great. I'm not that even mad. Excellent. We eight minutes over. Normally, I'm complaining, bro. I'm sway. I give sway that look like it's time to cut. Sound like you still complaining to no, me? No, no, no. I'm just acknowledging that it was worth my time. It, it was you worth it. Because it with the I have to know? acknowledge that we, it's sway. It's turning into sway in the afternoon, and this is beautiful though, because I, I enjoy. I'm, I this no it. Not many. We watched Locksmith this year. Ooh, you yes, know, yes, yes, we, yes. we've watched some really dope people come yeah. up here and do their thing. And man, you right it's, there. It's, it's, this the is good. The quality is, hey man, yeah. hey you MCs. I ain't even talk to the the opposite of dope ones. I ain't even talking to them. You are not allowed. If you do not meet, meet the criteria, you are not allowed to spit up here. Go practice. Man. Practice. Thank you, Man. Slay. Finally Go for practice. Around. Don't yes. come up here sk jump playing on beats. Yeah. <laughs> Wasting Sound our like time. Me. Talk to him, Sway. Wasting yeah. our time, smiling and laughing. It's goofy to you. You keep that goofy <laughs> shit at home with you and your people when y'all doing your whack freestyles off the top of the head. Don't come up here unless you rapping like this. Yeah. Paige Kennedy. Ooh. We got a hyena, Alex Mejia. Ooh. God is Man. great. God is God amazing. Is great. Shout out to you. Shout out to Money Long. Shot yo, y'all be been ready coming up here, man. This is yeah, good. Come on, Money Loan came up here and died, Ooh. destroyed that twenty one questions. Oh, I, Lost Damn. It. Yo, I was like, who, man? I like Buddy's freestyle. Buddy, shout out to Buddy, Buddy yesterday. Buddy one other day. We ain't only what only a mean? few y'all gonna get the chance. <laughs> Stop asking Torch if you could come up here to spit and you ain't ready. Don't do it. That was amazing. Thank you. Man. Oh, thank you, man. That was incredible. I appreciate that. I've, oh man, I've I seen a lot of great MCs, my brother, and you are just right up there with everybody else. Damn, already wow. you're so at the you top go. of the line. Just man, he put you at the top. I you, know that's crazy, that's bro. I, I, hey, I take it, man. I want to oh. sit at the summit and I want to inspire people oh. like Michael Jackson inspired me. I want to inspire kids that want to be great. You know what I'm saying? Like enough with the mediocrity. Like I want you to want to leave something, a legacy mm. that people can have a blueprint of how you do stuff because if we have everybody that just come with the music whatever the fat is they don't care it's then that's going to grow the babies to be that way i want them to care 
You know, absolutely. Mm. And quit being rich and living in mansions and peddling that ignorance that you don't <laughs> even be a part of no more yeah. in your verses. Yeah. Come on, man. Wow. Mm. All right. Shout out to Detroit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Shout a good time Kelly. to throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> the Kelly Kincaid, but that's the Flintstone right there. That ain't Detroit. But shout out to Kelly. Kelly was on me. We met you in 2016, I think it really was. Yeah. Where? Do you remember? No, South no. South by Southwest. 17. Oh, 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 was it 17? Yeah. Maddie around this time. It was around this yeah, time. 2017. And Kelly Kelly got me on, on that stage. I begged her. Yeah. And you and, and, and she's been a, a, a trooper ever since. And I've been harassing her, importuning her, because I wanted to be around greatness. And I got to come to the GOAT. And, man, I'm so happy, bro. Come on, man. We happy too, brother. <laughs> no, Thank happy you. Happy for you. Happy like, for you, man.